the Ryzen story started uh, with these, uh, with this nice combination of, of academics together with uh, industry partners and clinical partners who had an idea to realize a 3D body weight support system. Um, and uh, with a lot of coincidences, love of luck, all of us came together at the same time at the right spot. We found financing and uh, within three years from, from the patent, we arrived to the finished project. So the Ryzen is a pivotal tool for our research. We are developing a spinal cord stimulation system to enable paralyzed people to perform movement, including walking. So of course the Ryzen provides the correct body weight support, but it is way more than this. You know, there are many systems in the world that can provide body weight support against the direction of gravity, but they are restricted to one direction. What is very different with the Ryzen is that it's a multi-directional system. Huh? So I like to call it a gravity assist. It kind of optimizes the interaction between gravity and the working body. Just to give you an example, when our patients are stimulated, they are normally paralyzed and suddenly they can walk. But then, you know, their posture is very difficult to maintain. There are people with spinal cord injury. So then we adjust the forces applied to the trunk, not only vertically, but also forward or backward, laterally, and they really like it. It enables them to walk better. So it really provides the right environment to train the patient in the optimal conditions. How we came to the Ryzen, I think the, the background is first that I mean, we had the locomot for a long time and we used the locomot more for those more severely affected patients. And to also enable um, uh, children and adolescents who are, who are still, you know, impaired, but still are able to, to move around more freely, uh, to enable them a more functional training. We started first with the Andago and then also had the opportunity to, to get to the Ryzen. So this is really a, a new field that enables us to, to train patients that before were actually, I would say, too good to be trained in, in, in a locomotive. I think it's, uh, the Ryzen is a, is a useful tool. It's another possibility to train a little bit more independent children, like children which are quite more a little bit close to free walking. Um, and you can do some more balanced things, you can do like or higher functional yeah, exercises and you don't have to be scared that he's falling. So that's, that's great because in normal physical therapy you have to stand very close to the patient and save him all the time and there you can do a step back and give him some instructions and maybe also the patients they feel safer and they sometimes they try out more than they would in, in normal therapy. So it helps a little bit to, to have them yeah, more curious to try out something. We worked with MOTEC uh, far before the Ryzen project, uh, together with Professor Courtine's laboratory, um, and had very good experiences. So they were the first choice partner when it was about realizing such a project and bringing such a big system to the market. Yeah, so in, in our team, you know, we have scientists of many different backgrounds and also, of course, physical therapists. So we have a lot of persons coming and for them it's the opportunity to use a new technology that they don't have in their normal practice. And they really like it because they see how it's really opening a new spectrum of possibility in how they train patients. You know, and it's very convenient to use, you know, they have the remote control, they can adjust the parameter very easily. So the feedback so far has been excellent. Well, at, at the very beginning of the Ryzen project, I was still in academia. Yeah, so a product, creating a product was something pretty abstract for me. Um, two years later, we had our first patient walking in there, a person getting into the room. The very first time we could try it out in hospital getting to the horizon with the crutches, making two steps and then saying, oh, I feel I don't need the crutches anymore and laying it, putting it on the ground. And that was, of course, uh, when that's, I think, the first time we as a team realized that, that we made it uh, over a certain finish line. So at the beginning was a very complex, massive robotic support system for rats, uh, which was incredibly useful for our research. But as we move forward toward clinical application, it became 
more and more obvious that we needed the same type of interface for human. And we know all the challenges that comes with this kind of statement. And here I was very lucky to have uh, someone like Joachim in the team who took this mission very seriously and connected with the right partner. So Motec have really been committed to develop uh, this system, provide all the assistant the regulatory framework to turn this ID into a commercial system that is available today.